guys, what's up? Welcome back to the Journey YouTube channel. We're there again, you know. Hope everybody doing what doing fine, you know. Doing well in the new year because you know it's all it's almost the new year's. Hope everybody have them new year resolutions down pat and all of that. <laughs> you know? New year new year's resolution, you know. So I think my life will practice, you know, new year resolution, you know, just things where you need to make a means, make a change, because a lot of changes need to go on, a lot of people like You know, so I feel like New Year's resolution is the time where people don't really see, see change as such a bad thing because everybody have New Year's resolution, you know? But maybe in the earlier, any other time in the year you tell somebody, say, yo, you need to change that for yourself, you know? You know, they might cuss you out and, you know, they're not going to take it so, so peaceful, but Right now, if I tell some people, say, Yo, you know, so you need to make some changes for the New Year's, you know, a man will take it as a positive thing and an uplifting thing, you know. So, yeah, man, we believe in a New Year resolution, you know. So, yeah, man, we could do some New Year, New Year resolutions this year, you know, and go into the New Year with a more positive mindset. And, you know, throw away all of the old baggage from the, the previous year and everything. You get to me, I say? <laughs> yeah. Alright, um, this man we are going to talk about physical ascension symptoms because you know from the shift to the when, when, when your consciousness has shift, you know more, more energy pass through the vessel you are find that the physical body have to like go through some changes in order to accommodate the, to accommodate the, new, the, new, the new energy wave where pass through the vessel you get to me I say so yeah the physical body have to like shift up in order to accommodate um, the new energy we actually are passed through the vessel, through the being, you get to me I say? And while you go through ascension, you get some physical symptoms like I'm going to explain some of them in another video here, you get to me I say? So, you go through mental changes too, you know, but I talk about the physical ascension symptoms because sometimes when you go through the, the, the physical symptoms, them, you know, we tend to um, go to a lot of physicians and doctors and them can't really find out what's wrong with it, even though it's physical. You know, some comfy, shed some light on that. Not all sicknesses is physical, guys. Some stem, some um, sicknesses stem from a spiritual aspect. You know, like when you raise your vibration and raise your Kundalini energy, your body will go through some physical aches and pains. And my comfy just um, shed light for some of them symptoms there today. So we all know that the frequency of the sun is changing, right? And the sun has activated DNA. The more you go to the sun, breathing the radiation. You know, the deep breathing, taking in the sunlight, you know, open up your pores, you know, just spend more time outdoors in the nature and, you know, connect to the sun. You have a fine say, your DNA will start getting upgraded at a much rapid, a much, a much more rapid um, rate, you know. Your DNA will start to upgrade quick, very quickly, you know, because the sun helps with the ascension process, which is why the sun is getting hotter, guys. You get what I say? The sun is helping with the ascension process. A re a a really, the elements are, 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 are control everything. You know, it's not even really the human consciousness because the human consciousness literally have to surrender to everything we are going on the heaven because we literally gover governed by the heavenly bodies. You get what I So the sun get atta. So knowing that the sun get atta and the DNA get activated, these are some of the ascension symptoms. So number one, they are gonna have a thing called spiritual fever. You know, you have spiritual fever, you know, but the thing is spiritual the thing with spiritual fever versus regular fever is that, you know, spiritual fever you go recover from it in a, like 24 hours to 48. So, so 24 to 48 hours the, the fever go pass. You just have spiritual fever, you're gonna put you to sleep too. You're gonna put you to sleep, you're gonna feel tired. Because and this happens because the DNA is upgrading and we know that while they're upgrading anything in life, you have to put it to rest. You know, so honestly it would have be a real pressure upon our body if our DNA got upgraded and we weren't put in a state of rest. It would have been traumatic to maybe our brain. Probably we would have dead. You get what I say? Probably it would lead to death. Physical death. You know, so while it, when the DNA got, get upgraded, they need to be put in a state of rest. And that's why the spiritual flu comes in. You know, to put your body to rest. Because some of us, even when time we see a sign that the events say rest, we will not rest because that's how the human needs to stay most of the time. We program to always doing, to, to do it. The program to, to be always doing something, you know? That's all program to do. Mind program to always want to do something. So when you hear you get a sign for rest, sometimes we're not gonna really rest. So sometimes the universe literally have to put us a, a flu on it. And force you for rest. You get to me I say? So you go to a spiritual flu, you gotta have um giant pain. Um so giant pain, you gotta have tiredness, you gotta have um fatigue in the muscles. Yeah, um 
Yeah, back pain, giant pain, lower back pain. You know just most of the giants them. Anywhere in the body where giants them. Back, anywhere where the bones are, you're gonna feel giant pain. You know the bone them are feel away. And yeah, but as I said, all of them symptoms there are only last for like 24, 24 to 48 hours, you know. And the mental um, symptoms them you know are like uh, not wanting a 9 to 5 anymore starting to see life for what it really is because when I get upgraded the third eye I go open up more and you can see reality for what it really is you get to me I say and yeah man much more symptoms in it guys but as me I say you gonna lose your, your sense of taste and smell so far as me I say all of these symptoms are just last for like 24 to 48 hours you might lose your sense your sense of taste and smell for like more, maybe a week or two weeks but that's the most you know and the more you get yourself out in the nature while feeling the symptoms and the quicker the symptoms them, you know, go away. Because the nature of the healer, so you need to bring back yourself in the nature because remember, you know, the sun has activated DNA. So in, if the sun gives you a spiritual upgrade of DNA and make you have a spiritual flu, you need to go out in the sun to make the sun balance back that. You get what I say? It's simple. Get yourself out in the nature. Some people when they have sickness, they want to stay inside. No, that's the wrong thing for you to do. You go, you go through ascension symptoms guys, get yourself outside Don't lock up in the house, no, get yourself outside in the nature This is where the healing comes from, this is where everything is happening guys Outside, nature, get yourself in the nature So yeah, I say ascension symptoms And the funny part about the ascension symptoms you know, guys, you know It's very similar to the COVID-19 symptoms them What am I talking about you know So, most people when they feel ascension symptoms They might probably want to run go take the vaccine because they think they have COVID No, 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 no you don't have no COVID. So remember the ascension symptoms last 24 to 48 hours. If you're feeling any fever for 28, 24 to 48 hours, it's not it's not no COVID-19. As I said, the word COVID, the, the word corona means the outer layer of the sun. There, there are coronal mass ejections going on right now. The sun is literally spitting out balls of fire. There are coronal mass ejections. The sun has shed um, the coronal layer. It literally has heat up so much. The outer layer of the sun has heat up. It literally has pit out balls of fire. You get me? I said they are called coronal mass ejection. Coronal mass ejections. You get me? I said research that. So when the car the sun has activated DNA and give you a spiritual flu and put you through some ascension symptoms because your DNA is upgrade. You get me? I said it's not no virus. No, <laughs> you know. So don't go around and take the vaccine as soon as you have a spiritual flu and a little numb numbness in your muscles are a little fatigue in your bones and joints and everything no 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 don't run go take the vaccine that is what they want that's why they make the ascension symptoms them and the so-called covid 19 um symptoms so similar because they know say the sun is going to activate a lot of melanated people dna in this time and we're going to go through ascension symptoms you know so they make the ascension symptoms them very similar to the covid covid 19 virus symptoms them to trick people so the moment you start feel a little fatigue and a little ray 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 and go look and say oh shit a covid yeah you gotta run go take the vaccine and the moment you go to the doctor they're gonna tell you say yes i do because they're programmed to, to tell everybody that if your foot broke a covid you have if your eye pluck out it's covid you have that is how they must do it because they want to make everybody live in a fear there's no fear in the universe guys the universe is never working against you it's always working for you you get to me and say never working against you I want to believe that that is the reality. The universe is never working against you, always working for you, you know. Think about it, always working for you. you. You spend nine months in the womb, you come out. When you come out, there is breast milk provided in your mother's breast for you. So that means that the universe will work for you, only for you. It not work against you, no time, you know. It's not working against you, you know. So big up the Join YouTube channel, one love. Peace so like, comment, share, subscribe, and you know, my like to the subscribe account, so my go up so people continue to subscribe. My give thanks, give thanks for the new subs, them, and all of that. You know, more people like the content, continue to like, comment, and share. Share the video so more people can comment, so more people can like, so more people can actually subscribe, more people can view. You know, as the channel to grow because we actually want to make this content reach to the whole world. You get to me, I say, and you know, get people from a similar wavelength, you know. Because you know that's how we are gonna find peace. And this is what we are trying to do. We are trying to get in a more peaceful state. You get what I'm saying? So big up, give thanks. As I said, like, comment, share, subscribe.